Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for some more NFL fan nail art. Today we're going to be doing this look that I'm showing you right here for the Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys. So you can um, get these nails on for the next game or possibly for the Super Bowl. You never know. So this one isn't actually too tricky. You're just going to need three colors of nail polish and a very thin nail art brush. So these are the polishes that I use. Pretty Serious Presence, which is my very favorite white polish right now. I need like a hundred more bottles. I used Zoya Sailor. This is an awesome one coater. This is the color that Tim picked out in his NFL polish picks. You should check out that video if you missed it. And this is SC Petal Pushers, which is like the kind of bluish gray that he picked out for their team as well. So you're going to start out and paint all of your nails except for one your dark blue color and just look at how nicely this Zoya Sailor applies. Just one coat and you're good to go. Then your accent nail you're going to paint your light gray color. I ended up needing two coats of SE Petal Pushers and then of course you're going to let both of those dry. And then um, on all of your nails except the accent nail you're just going to paint a single stripe down of your gray polish and you can clean up you know anywhere you need to using your dark blue. And then you're going to take your white polish and just paint a very thin stripe along one edge of your gray stripe. And it doesn't really matter which edge you do it on. I just was kind of making this up as I went along. So just pick one and put some white in there. And then that's basically it for those nails. And so you're going to top coat them. For the accent nail, we're going to be painting our star. So um, yeah, pretty pretty basic here. You're just going to take your dark blue and then plot out your five points of your star. That's the easiest way for me to go ahead and do a star. Actually, I, I was looking at a reference photo for a star. I can't just pull a star out of my head and just, you know, go with it. have to actually figure out where things are supposed to be, especially with a rectangular nail. For some reason, it seems a little bit trickier to um, space things out. So anyway, by the way, this nail art brush I'm using is from Kiss, and it's my favorite one that I've um, tried in a while. It's really, really thin and really easy to maneuver, and I'm so sorry my hand gets in the way. It's such an attention hog. So here I am just firming up the lines. I just was like, oh wait, this side needs to be a little bit longer. So easy enough, you just bring your line in a little bit thicker because all we're going to do is fill this puppy in. So I actually started out with my nail brush, my nail art brush and I was like wait I could just use the brush from my Zoya Sailor and fill this star in and that worked out pretty well. Um, there's like one little edge that I'm going to need to use my nail art brush but for the most part you can just fill it in with the polish brush and then you're going to wait for that to dry and then you're going to take your white again and you're going to outline this star, but you're not going to outline outline. You're going to do it just on the inside of the star so that the outline is actually blue. So how this star looks is blue, white, blue. That is the order of the colors on this star. So as you can see, I'm just doing a very thin white line. So we can see some blue on the outside of the white line and then lots of blue on the inside. And um, yeah, I do tell you to you to um, when you're doing nail art, when you're doing very fine, precise work, that using acrylic paint is easier than nail polish because it doesn't get as tacky as quickly. I am using nail polish here, so you could you know do either or whatever you want to do. I just w wanted to keep it consistent through this whole series and use the nail polishes that Tim picked. So this is nail polish, but you could definitely use acrylic paint if you want to in any of these designs. I usually find it to be much easier. So once you've got that all plotted out like that, that's pretty much it. So you're going to top coat it and this is your final design. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. If you guys decide to recreate it, please tag me on Instagram and show me. That would be so much fun. I love you guys so much and have a really great day and I will see you back for my next video. Bye!